Omani history is a melting pot of cultural influences. As a seafaring nation, Oman once ruled an empire which stretched as far as Zanzibar on the African coast. It developed trading partnerships with India and the East. Many forts and battlements line the coast as a reminder of past conflicts with Persian invaders who brought their own culture to Oman. Today's invaders are tourists, one and a half million of them last year, traveling to soak up both history and winter sunshine and take advantage of the Sultanate's beaches. Sultan Qaboos has embraced Western culture, particularly classical music. Homegrown musical talent is encouraged and the Royal Oman Symphony Orchestra tours the world to great acclaim. Until now, Oman has lacked a prestigious concert venue to match its musical aspirations. But that's all about to change. And here's how. Behind me is the 1100-seater state-of-the-art opera house, which will provide Oman with a spectacular concert hall for anything, from ballet to jazz to Arab music. I'm going to take you inside. The building is a blend of traditional Islamic architecture and modern acoustic technology. Architectural engineer Mohsen al-Sheikh has been involved in the project from the beginning. Explain to me the design and architecture. Like it's an opera house, but yeah. yet we see yeah. a very Islamic touch in it, Islamic yeah. art. Yeah. Uh, you have to think of a timeless approach. So uh, that's why we thought that the best thing to do is to have a classical building, but classical in the term of Islamic architecture, Arab and Islamic architecture. You know what my best part is? The lighting. Yeah. I mean, the lamps yes, are just... Yes, yes. Uh, the lamps are just stunning. I mean, look at them. They're a piece of art. Uh, the, the, those, uh, normally when we design uh, uh, iconic building, the light fittings has to be you know, consistent with the, with the design of the interior. Mm. So these are specifically designed for, uh, for the opera house. Everything here done locally apart from chandeliers. The auditorium itself has been designed to be versatile. Walls, seating and stage areas can be moved to accommodate the different needs of opera, ballet and music concerts. For those unfamiliar with the operatic language of Italian, the chair backs are fitted with screens which provide subtitles in a range of languages. It is thought to be the first time such a service has been provided in Arabic. What distinguishes this opera house from many other opera houses is that we are trying to create a cultural hub. It's not just a, a beautiful building that will not be used, it's a building that is for the people. It is, it's a building uh, for every Omani. It's a cultural hub where we hope to engage the whole, uh, all, all the people of, of Omani. The project is made possible by heavy government subsidy. Ticket prices are being kept low and Omanis will be invited to a number of free performances. Government ministers point to additional benefits resulting from the Opera House. We think um, uh, this house uh, will become very soon uh, a cultural icon uh, in, th in the Gulf uh, area and also uh, in the Arab world. Um, Oman has invested uh, heavily into tourism and we are um, reaping uh, the fruits of that investment right now. You will find that uh, most of the hotels are uh, overbooked and we have a lot more interest now that the Opera House uh, uh, has opened. In a country which so protests over economic conditions earlier this year, not every voice is in harmony with a financial outlay on a prestigious arts project. 
I read one uh, review in one, one, one of the newspapers this morning uh, saying one of the young people, Armani uh, man, saying this money could have gone somewhere else, created job opportunities, helped us in a different way. What do you think? You see, I think people don't realize the importance of having a performing arts center. I mean, we could always say that. We could, we could, we could build roads, we can build hospitals, we can build school. But you need to have a cultural hub. You need to have a performing arts center. And, and I really wish the Omanis would see the importance of this now and in the future. As you have correctly said, you know, you know, this will bring in tourism. You know, this will be integrated in our educational programs. You know, this uh, will inspire people to perform arts. This will create job opportunities. So the, 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 you know, the, the ripple effect from this opera house will be great. And I think with time, uh, people will be seeing that more and more. What they will be seeing in the next few months is an array of international stars, including the Italian tenor Andrea Bocelli, U.S. jazz master Wynton Marsalis, and Russia's Marinsky Ballet, along with Majida Rumi and other leading lights of our music.